by the miracle of unmerited favor. Jackson Snyder presents is back. Continuing on now with my presentation of uh, Shimon Hamag or Simon Magus, here's an excerpt from the Acts of Peter and Paul, in which you can hear these three in their own words as they debate before the Emperor Nero. Who wins? Nobody wins. As you'll hear in the end of this recording, we're calling Peter, Kifa, Paul, Paulos, and Simon, Shimon. I think you'll enjoy this excerpt. A lot of work went into this and in the entire audiobook. This is just a short excerpt from the 14-hour book on audio, The Nazarene Acts of the Apostles. For a short time, you can get your own audiobook free of charge. The whole thing, including the Clementine homilies, the Clementine recognitions, the Acts of Peter and Paul, and several other ancient and divine stories, stories that you may never have heard before about the apostles, especially those left out of the Acts of the Apostles. Oh, you can get your copy of the audio by download from NazareneActs.com. Are you ready to go, Brother Shumkov? Already, Eddie. Okay, an excerpt from the the Acts of Peter and Paul. When the people were making a seditious murmuring, Shimon, moved with zeal, rouses himself and began to say many evil things about Kepha, saying that he was a wizard and a cheat, and they believed him, wondering at his miracles. For he made a brazen serpent move itself, and stone statues to laugh and move themselves, and himself to run and suddenly to be raised into the air. But as a set-off to these, Kepha, he the sick by a word, by praying made the blind to see, put demons to flight by a command. Sometimes he even raised the dead. And he said to the people that they should not only flee from Shimon's deceit, but also that they should expose him, that they might not seem to be slaves to the devil. And thus it happened that all pious men abhorred Shimon Hamag and proclaimed him irreverent. But those who adhered to Shimon strongly affirmed Kifa to be a Magian, bearing false witness as many of them as were with Shimon Hamag, so that the matter came even to the ears of Nero the Caesar, and he gave order to bring Shimon Hamag before him. And he, coming in, stood before him, and began suddenly to assume different forms, so that all of a sudden he became a child, and after that a little old man, and at other times a young man, for he changed both face and statue into different forms, and was in a frenzy, having the devil as his slave. Nero, seeing this, supposed him to be truly the son of Elohim. But the Sholiach Kepha showed him to be both a liar and a wizard, a base and disrespectful apostate, and in all things opposed to the truth of Elohim, and that nothing yet remained of him except his wickedness, later made apparent by the command of Elohim, so it might be made manifest to them all. Then Shimon, having gone in to Nero, said, Listen, O good emperor, I am the son of Elohim come down from the skies. Until now I have endured this Kifa who is calling himself a Sholiak. But now he has doubled the evil, for Paulus himself also teaches the same things, and having his mind turned against me, is said to preach along with him, in reference to whom, if you will not contrive their destruction, it is very plain that your kingdom cannot stand. Then Nero, filled with concern, ordered his slaves to bring both of them before him immediately, and on the following day, Shimon Hamag, and Kepha, and Paulos, the Shlekim of Messiah, having come before Nero, Shimon then said, These are the disciples of the Nazarene, and it is not at all well that they should be of the people of Yehuda. And Nero said, What is a Nazarene? 
Shimon said, There is a city of Yehuda that has always been opposed to us, called Nesaret, and to it the teacher of these men belonged. Nero said, But God commands us to love every man, so why then do you persecute them? Shimon said, oh, This is a race of men who have turned aside all Yehuda from believing in me. Nero said to Kifa, Why are you thus unbelieving according to your race? Then Kifa said to Shimon, You have been able to impose upon all, but upon me never. And those who have been deceived, Elohim has through me recalled from this error. And since you have learned by experience that you cannot get the better of me, I wonder with what face you boast yourself before the emperor, and thus suppose that, through your magic art, you will overcome the disciples of Messiah. Nero said, Who is Messiah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kifa said, He is whom that this Shimon Hamag affirms himself to be, but this is a most wicked man, and his works are of the devil. But if you wish to know, O good emperor, the things that have been done in Yehuda regarding Messiah, take the writings of Pontius Pilate sent to Claudius, and thus you will know all. And Nero ordered them to be brought and to be read in their presence, and they were to the following effect. <coughs> Quiet! Pontius Pilate to Claudius greeting. There has lately happened an event that I myself was involved in. For the Yehudaim, through envy, have inflicted on themselves and those coming after them dreadful judgments. Their fathers had promises that their God would send them his Holy One from the sky, who according to reason should be called their king and he promised to send him to the earth by means of a virgin. He then, when I was procurator, came into Yehuda, and they saw him enlightening the blind, cleansing lepers, healing paralytics, expelling demons from men, raising the dead, subduing the winds, walking upon the waves of the sea, and doing many other wonders, and all the people of the Yehudaim called him Son of Elohim. Then the chief priests, moved with envy against him, seized him and delivered him to me. And telling one lie after another, they said that he was a wizard and did contrary to their law. And I, having believed that these things were so, gave him up, after scourging him to their will. And they crucified him, and after he was buried, set guards over him. But he, while my soldiers were guarding him, rose on the third day. And to such a degree was the wickedness of the Yehudim inflamed against him, that they gave money to the soldiers, saying, Say his disciples have stolen his body. But they, having taken the money, were not able to keep silence as to what had happened. For they have testified that they have seen him after he was risen, and that they have received money from the Yehudim. These things, therefore, have I reported, that no one should falsely speak otherwise. It's break time, right? Be right back. And that you should not suppose that the falsehoods of the Yahudim are to be believed. So after the letter was read, Nero said, Tell me, Kifaha, were all these things thus done by him, 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 him? And Kifa said, They were, with your permission, O good emperor. For this Shimon is full of lies and deceit, even if it should seem that he is what he is not, that is, a god. In the true Messiah there is all excellent victory through Elohim and through man, which that incomprehensible glory assumed, which through man designed to come to the assistance of men. But in this Shimon there are two essences, of man and of devil who through man endeavors to ensnare men. Shimon said, I wonder, O oh good emperor, that you reckon this man of any consequence, a man uneducated, a fisherman of the poorest, and endowed with power neither in word nor by rank, but uh, that I may not long endure him as an enemy. I will immediately order my angels to come and avenge me upon him. 
Kifar said, I am not afraid of your angels, but they will be much more afraid of me in the power and trust of my master Yeshua Messiah, whom you falsely declare yourself to be. Nero said, Are you not afraid, Kifar or Shimon, who confirms his godhood by works? Kifa said, Godhood is in him who searches the hidden things of the heart. Now then, tell me what I am thinking about or what I am doing. I disclose to your slaves who are here what my thought is, before he tells lies about it, in order that he may not dare to lie as to what I am thinking about. Nero said, Come hither and tell me what you are thinking about. Kifa said, Order a barley loaf to be brought and to be given to me secretly. And when Nero ordered it to be brought and secretly gave it to Kifa, Kifa said, Now tell us, Shimon, what has been thought or what said or what done. Nero said, Do you expect me to believe that Shimon does not know these things, who both raised a dead man and presented himself on the third day after he had been beheaded, and who has done whatever he said he would do? Kifa said, But but he did not do it before me, Nero said. But he did all these things before me, for assuredly he ordered angels to come to him, and they came. Kifa said, If he has done what is very great, why does he not do what is very small? Let him tell what I had in my mind and what I have done, Nero said. Mm, between us, I do not know myself. Shimon said, Let Kifa say what I am thinking of or what I am doing. Kifa said, What Shimon has in his mind I will show that I know by my doing what he is thinking about. Shimon said, Oh, know this, O oh emperor, that no one knows the thoughts of men but the God alone. Is not therefore Kifa lying? Kifa said, You then, who says you are the son of Elohim, tell what I have in my mind. Disclose, if you can, what I have just done in secret. For Kifa, having blessed the barley loaf that he had received, and and having broken it with his right hand and his left, had heaped it up and hidden it in his sleeves. Then Shimon, enraged that he was not able to tell the secret of the Sholiak, cried out, saying, Let, Let great, great the dogs, dogs come forth and eat him up before Kaiser. And suddenly there appeared great dogs. <laughs> and rushed at Kifa, but Kifa, stretching forth his hands to pray, showed to the dogs the loaf that he had blessed, which loaf they could see, and the dogs vanished from sight. <laughs> then Kifa said to Nero, Look, I have shown you that I knew what Shimon was thinking of, not by words, but by deeds, for he, having promised that he would bring angels against me, has brought dogs, in order that he might show that he has no godlike God angels, angels, but dog-like dog -like angels. angels. And Nero said to Shimon, What is it, Shimon? <laughs> I think we have got the worst of it. Shimon said, This man, both in Yehuda and in all Palestine and Caesarea, has done the same to me, and from very often striving with me, he has learned how to escape from me. But the thoughts of men no one knows but Elohim alone. And Kifa said to Shimon, Certainly you feign yourself to be a god. Why then do you not reveal the thoughts of everyone? Then Nero, turning to Paulos, said, Why do you say nothing, Paulos? Paulos answered and said, Know this, O Emperor, that if you permit this magician to do such things, it will bring a plethora of the greatest mischief to your country, and will bring down your empire from its position. Nero said to Shimon, What do you say, Shimon? Shimon said, If I do not manifestly hold myself out to be a god, no one will bestow upon me due reverence. Nero said, And now, why do you delay and not show yourself to be a god? God, 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 in order that these men may be punished. Shimon said, Give orders to build for me a high tower of wood, and I, uh, going up upon it, will call my angels and order them to take me in the sight of all to my father in the skies. And these men, not being able to do this, are put to shame as uneducated fools. And Nero said to Kifa, Have you heard, Kifa, what has been said by Shimon? From this will appear how much power either he or your god has. 
Kifa said, O oh, most mighty emperor, if you were willing, you might perceive that he is full of demons. Nero said, Why do you make me roundabouts and circumlocutions? Tomorrow will prove you. <laughs> Shimon said, Do you believe, O oh good emperor, that I, who was dead and rose again, am a magician? For such an impression Kifa and Polos have communicated through their own cleverness, that the masses who know me as the great god might be carried away with their own magic tricks. So order me to be beheaded in a dark place, and there to be left slain. And if I do not rise on the third day, know that I am a magician. Magician. But if I rise again, know that I am the, the son, son of God. God. And Nero, having ordered this in the dark by his magic art, and until it was beheaded, the ram appeared to all to be Shimon. And he that had beheaded him, taking the head and surveying it, found it to be that of a ram. But he would not say anything to the emperor, lest he should be scourged for having ordered all this to be done in secret. Thereafter, accordingly, Shimon said that he had risen on the third day, because he took away the head of the ram and the limbs, though the blood had congealed, and on the third day he showed himself to Nero and said, Cause to be wiped away my blood that has been Pour out, for look, having been beheaded as I promised, I, I have, have risen again on the, on the third, third day. day. At this Nero said, Tomorrow I will prove you. <sighs> Turning to Paulos, he says, You, Paulos, why do you say nothing? Who taught you, or whom had you for a master, or how have you been able to teach in the cities, or what prodigies have happened through your teaching? For I think that you have not any wisdom, and are not able to accomplish any work of power. Just my opinion, of course, of course, of course. Paulos answered, Do you suppose that I ought to speak against a desperate man, a magician, who has given his soul up to death, whose destruction and perdition will come speedily? For he ought to speak who pretends to be what he is not, and deceives all by magic art. And if you consent to hear his words and to shield him, you will destroy your soul and your kingdom, for he is a most base man. And as the Egyptians Yanai and Yambrai led Pharaoh and his army astray until they were swallowed up into the sea, so also he, through the instruction of his father the devil, persuades men to do many evils to themselves, and thus deceives many of the innocent to the peril of your kingdom. But as for the word of the devil, which I see has been poured out through this man with groanings of my heart, I am dealing with the Spiritus Sancti, that it may be clearly shown what he really is, for as far as he seems to raise himself toward the sky, so far will he be sunk down into the depths of Hades, where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. But about the teachings of my master, of which you ask me, none attain it except the pure, who allow faith to come into their hearts. For as many as belong to peace and love, these have I taught, round about from Yerushalayim, and as far as Illyricum, I have fulfilled the word of Shalom, for I have taught that each should prefer one another in honor. I have taught those that are eminent and rich not to be lifted up and hope in the uncertainty of riches, but to place their hope in Elohim. And I have taught those in a middle station to be content with food and covering. I have taught the poor to rejoice in their own poverty. I have taught fathers to teach their children instruction in the fear of Yahweh, and children to obey their parents in wholesome admonition. I have taught wives to love their own husbands, to fear them as masters, and husbands to observe fidelity to their wives. I have taught masters to treat their slaves with clemency, and slaves to serve their own masters faithfully. I have taught the assembly of believers to reverence one almighty potentate, invisible, the incomprehensible Elohim. And this teaching has been given me, not from men, nor through men, but through Yahshua Messiah, who spoke to me out of the skies, who also has sent me to preach, saying to me, Go forth! For I will be with you, and all things, as many as you will say or do, I will make just.
Nero, applauding, afterward said, What, what, what do you say, Kifa? Kifa answered and said, All that Paulos has said is true. For when he was a persecutor of the faith of Messiah, a voice called out to him from the skies and taught him the truth. For he was not an adversary of our faith from hatred, but from ignorance. For there were before us false messiahs, like Shimon, false Shlikim, and false Navayim, who, contrary to the sacred writings, set themselves to make void the truth. And against these it was necessary to have in readiness this man, who from his youth up set himself to no other thing than to search out the mysteries of the divine law, by which he might become a vindicator of truth and a persecutor of falsehood. Since then his persecution was not on account of hatred, but on account of the vindication of the law. The very truth out of heaven communicated with him, saying, I am the truth that you persecute. Quit persecuting me. And when he knew that this was so, leaving off that which he was vindicating, he began to vindicate this way of Messiah, which he was persecuting. Shimon said, O oh, good emperor, take notice that these two have conspired against me, for I, I, I am the truth, and they propose evil against me. Kifa said, There is no truth in you, but all you say is false. Nero said, Paulos, what do you say? Paulo said, Those things which you have heard from Kifa, you may believe that they have been spoken by me also, for we propose the same thing, for we have the same master, Yahshua, the, the Messiah. Shimon said, Do you expect me, O oh good emperor, to hold an argument with these men who have come to an agreement against me? And having turned to the Shlakim of Messiah, he said, Listen, Kifa and Paulos, if I can do nothing for you here, we are going to the place where I must judge you. Paulos said, O oh, good emperor, see what threats he holds out against us. Kifa said, Ha ha ha! How are we able to keep from laughing outright at such a foolish man, who demons have made the butt of jokes? <laughs> Shimon said, I spare you until I will receive my power. Paulo said, Let us see if you can even make it out of here safely. Kifa said, Shimon, if you do not see the power of our master Yahshua Messiah, you will not believe yourself not to be Messiah. Shimon said, Most sacred emperor, do not believe them, for they are circumcised knaves. Paulo said, Before we knew the truth, we had the circumcision of the flesh. But when the truth appeared, in the circumcision of the heart, we both are circumcised and we circumcise. Kifa said, If circumcision be a disgrace, why have you been circumcised, Shimon? Nero said, Has then Shimon also been circumcised? <laughs> Kifa said, For not otherwise could he have deceived souls unless he feigned himself to be of the Yehudaim and made a show of teaching the law of Elohim. Nero said, Shimon, you as I see, being carried away with envy, persecute these men, for as it seems, there is great hatred between you and their Messiah, and I am afraid that you will be worsted by them and involved in great evils. Shimon said, You are led astray, O Emperor. Nero said, How am I led astray? What I see in you, I say, I see that you are manifestly an enemy of Kipha and Polos, as well as their master. Shimon said, Messiah was not Polos' master. Paulo said, Yes, through revelation he taught me also. But tell me what I ask you. Why were you circumcised? Shimon said, Why have you asked me this? Paulo said, We have a reason for asking you this. Nero said, Why are you afraid to answer them? Um, um. Shimon said, Listen, O emperor, at that time circumcision was enjoined by Elohim when I received it. For this reason was I circumcised. Paulo said, Do you hear, O good emperor, what has been said by Shimon? If therefore circumcision be a good thing, why have you, Shimon, given up those who have been circumcised and forced them, after condemning them, to be put to death? Nero said, Neither about you do I perceive anything good. Kifa and Paulo said, Whether this thought about us being good or evil has no reference to the matter, but to us it was necessary that what our master promised should come to pass. Nero said, And if I should not be willing for it to come to pass?
Kifa said, Not as you will, but as he promised to us. Shimon said, Oh, good emperor, these men have reckoned upon your clemency and have bound you. Nero said, But neither have you yet, yet, yet made me sure about yourself. Shimon said, Since so many excellent deeds and signs have been shown to you by me, I wonder how you should be in doubt. Nero said, I neither doubt nor favor any of you, you. but answer me, rather what I ask. Shimon said, From now on, I answer you nothing. Nero said, You say this because you lie. But if even I can do nothing to you, O oh Shimon, the gods, who can do something to you, will do something to you. Shimon said, Shut your mouth. I no longer answer to you. <laughs> Nero said, Nor do I consider you to be anything, for... <laughs> As I perceive, you are a liar and everything. So why should I talk about this so much? The three of you show that your reasoning is uncertain, and thus in all things you have made me doubt, so that I find that I can give credit to none of you. Kifa said, We preach one Elohim and father of our master, Yahshua Messiah, that has made the sky and the earth and the sea and all that is therein, who is the true emperor. And of his empire there will be no end. Nero said, mm -hmm, What king is king? <laughs> Paulo said, The savior of all the nations. Shimon said, I am he whom you speak of. Kifa and Paulo said, May it never be well with you, Shimon, magician and full of bitterness. Shimon said, Listen, O Caesar Nero, that you may know that these men are liars, that I have been sent from the skies. Tomorrow I go up into the skies, that I may make those who believe in me blessed, and show my wrath upon those who have denied me. Kifa and Paulo said, Long ago Elohim called us to his own glory, but you, called by the devil, hastens to punish us. Shimon said, Kaiser Nero, listen to me. Separate these bad men from you in order that when I go into the sky to my father, I may be very merciful to you. Nero said, <laughs> <laughs> By what means will we prove this, that you go away into the sky? <laughs> Shimon said, Order a lofty tower to be made of wood and of great beams that I may go up upon it, that my angels may find me in the air, for they cannot come to me upon earth among these sinners. Nero said, Hmm, I will see whether you will fulfill what you say. So Nero went ahead and ordered a lofty tower to be made in the Campus Martius, and all the people and the dignitaries to be present at the spectacle. And on the following day, all the multitude having come together, Nero ordered Kifa and Paulos to be present, to whom also he said, Now the truth has to be made manifest. Kifa and Paulo said, We, we do, do not, not expose, expose him, him, but our master Yahshua Messiah, the son of Elohim, whom he has falsely declared himself to be, exposes, exposes him. him. And Paulo, having turned to Kifa, said, oh, oh, it's my part to bend the knee and pray to Elohim. Shh, shh. It's your part to produce the effect. If you should see him attempting anything, for you were first taken in hand by the master. And Paulos, bending his knees, prayed, for his life was at stake. And Kifa, looking steadfastly upon Shimon, said, Accomplish, Accomplish what, what you, you have, have begun, begun, for both your exposure and our call is at hand. For, for I, I see, see my Messiah, Messiah calling, calling both Paulos and, and me Skyline. Sky. Nero said, And where do you think you will go against my will? Kifa said, Wherever our master has called us, we will go. Nero said, And who is your master again? Am I and not your master? If not, tell me who is. Kifa said, Yahshua the Messiah, whom I see calling us to himself. Nero said, do you also then intend to go away into the skies? Kifa said, If it will seem good to him that calls us. Shimon said, In order that you may know, O Emperor, that these are deceivers, as soon as ever I ascend into the skies, I will send my angels to you and will make you come to me. Nero said, Well, go and do what you say immediately. 
Then Shimon went up upon the tower in the face of all, and, crowned with laurels, as a king and god, stretched forth his hands and began to fly. And when Nero saw him flying, he said to Kepha, Oh, oh, the Shimon is true, but you and Paulus are the deceivers. To this Kepha said, Immediately will you know that we are true disciples of Messiah, but that he is not Messiah, but a magician and a malefactor. Nero said, Oh, do you still persist? Look, you can see him going up into the sky. He is indeed flying. <laughs> then Kepha, looking steadfastly upon Paulos, said, Paulos, look up and see. And Paulos, having looked up, full of tears, seeing Shimon flying said, Kifa, why are you idle? Finish what you have begun, for already our master Yahshua Messiah is calling us. And Nero, hearing them, smiled a little and said, These men see themselves worsted already, and they have gone mad. Kifa said, Now you will know that we are not mad. Paulo said to Kifa, Do at once what you do best. And Kifa, looking steadfastly against Shimon, skyward shouted, I adjure, I adjure you, you, you angels of Satan, Satan, who are carrying him into the air to deceive, to deceive the hearts of the unbelievers, unbelievers. By, the by the Elohim, Elohim that created all things, and by Yahshua Messiah, whom on the third day he raised from the dead, no longer from this hour keep him up. But now let him go. But I command you, let him go. Oh. And immediately, being let go, Shimon Hamag fell into a place called Sakrawiya, that is the holy way, and was divided into four parts, having perished by an evil fate. <laughs> And such was the demise of Shimon, Paulos, and Kifa. That wraps up my presentation on Shimon Hamag, Simon Magus. Don't forget, you're listening to Jackson Snyder Presents The Thinking Believer, produced and financed by me and the Vero Essene Yahad. This is a Hebrew Nation Radio original. Tune into Hebrew Nation Radio and support that work. If you like the kind of thing I do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have nearly 600 presentations, and as for podcasts, many, many more. If you really feel moved, you can support this ministry. I work for the glory of Yahweh Elohim and none other. May the true Elohim, who is great, be with you, motivate you, and have you doing the work of an evangelist. Amen, shalom, and shalom. Oh, yes, and don't forget me, Brother Shroomkoff. Enjoy uh, the rest of your evening in the spirit of a power and holiness. Amen. You have been listening to Jackson Snyder Presents on Hebrew Nation Radio.